Okay, good morning, everyone. Today, we're going to continue our discussion on, on uh, the use of a very powerful package in R, which is quant mode. This is used for uh, investing, uh, for investments, for technical analysis, and that's the quant mode package. So let's open a code chunk here, and let's load the, let's load the uh, uh, package since we have already installed it. So just again, by way of quick review, there's a way by which we can uh, we can automatically both install and load the package using Pacman. So if we load Pacman, and then we can now use the uh, p underscore load function of Pacman, so that you can <clears throat> you can both install. And load the packages at the same time. So let's use quant mode and let's use uh, performance analytics. Performance analytics. And then we also need, uh, although this comes already with, uh, with quant mode, but let's load it anyway. Technical trading in R. Okay, so let's run that. <clears throat> Okay, we can check if uh, the packages have already been loaded by going to the packages window pane. And then <clears throat> if I type, for example, performance PR, performance analytics, this is the uh, that package, okay? So it's already checked, right? It's already checked there. And then let me also check quant mode, quant mode. Okay, it's already checked. If you haven't loaded that package, uh, before you run this, the package load function and check the packages section of your window pane, you would not have seen quant mode, nor would you have seen performance analytics. But with this, the p load function <clears throat> and then identify the packages. And the, and the uh, cool thing about this also is that you don't need to put quotes here. Unlike if you're <clears throat> going to use installed packages, then you will still have to put code C. And then uh, after installing that packages, you have to use library or require in order to load the package. But in this case, it's automatic. Uh, R will look via the uh, P load function if that particular uh, package is already installed. If not, then it will store it, getting it from CRAN. So it will run that installed that packages function and then after that, load it. All right, let's also look at uh, PTR. Okay, here. So it's already checked. This is technical trading rules. Okay, let's, let's first have a quick survey of the packages. Now, it's important for us to know, always a good practice to know, what these packages <clears throat> provide us. Remember that packages provide functionalities. They are codes that are written specifically to facilitate the uh, running uh, or or doing uh, performing some tasks through R. So if I click this, let's just have a, have a quick look of what this package is. So you can see here <clears throat> there are several <clears throat> several functionalities here. You have top M. I'm sure you have met this capital asset pricing model, calculate returns, Calmar ratio. Uh, this is related to sharp ratio. <clears throat> okay, also have a charting here, chart dot bar. Okay, chart the time series. <clears throat> and so you can see here, <clears throat> sorry, quite a number of quite a number of fun functionalities. <clears throat> okay, so we have here several measures like uh, ex uh, exponential. Weighted moving average. We have the Sortino. Okay, Sortino metric. Right, so quite a lot. Okay, <clears throat> and you have here <coughs> value at risk. You can use the performance analytics to compute for the value at risk. May I know, class? Uh, show of hands, please, or chat, if you discuss a value at risk computation in your risk management subject. 
Can you please click yes, chat yes or no? Value at risk. Yes, okay, good. <clears throat> How about the others? Isa lang ba yung makakaalala? Pati yung, ano, yung conditional value, value at risk, pati yung, uh, yung other more, <clears throat> more, let's say, more relevant metrics ngayon. Kasi dati var lang eh. Ngayon may C var na. Okay, tapos merong, ano, meron na yung, forget the name, this other one. Okay, good. <clears throat> good. So, in fact, when you were taking that subject, you could have used, if you knew R, you could have used the performance analytics uh, package of R. Okay, so let's take a look also at, uh, wait now, let me see if we can, will this have an example just to illustrate to you, for example, in bar. Eh? So click natin to, <clears throat> and then, so this this calculates the value at risk for univariate component and marginal cases, <clears throat> and this is the syntax, okay, and oftentimes my example sila dito. Okay, here ginagamit yung EdTech data. <clears throat> uh, let's see, let's let's just see this ano, this uh, normal bar. No? <clears throat> Copy natin to. Control C. Control B. <clears throat> so let's first run itong uh, data EdTech. Right, uh, may mga computation na siya. Eh. Ah, <clears throat> tapos, okay, after that, <clears throat> let me run yung bar, yung historical method. Control C, Control D. <clears throat> All right, so here we have several outputs. No? Ito yung bar. Okay, meron tayong bar dun sa fixed income, sa merge, kasi maraming sa uh, emerging markets, marami, yung EdTech kasi, marami siyang, ano, no, marami siyang, kaya natin, view EdTech, it consists of several data. Okay. So, meron siyang convertible na arbitrage, <coughs> fixed income arbitrage. <coughs> so, several, uh, several, uh, 13, <coughs> 13 uh, columns. Okay, and then you can use the bar value at risk uh, to compute for the different bars of this series. Okay, so this is just to illustrate, this is not a subject on uh, this is not a subject on risk management, but I just wanted to illustrate to you that there are many packages in R performance analytics is one of them that you could have used in your other subject. Okay. So let's go back to the packages here. Let's now take a look at ETR quickly. Okay, here, technical trading rules. So here we're going to make use of this. So what are the, uh, let's take a look at the description file first. So this is technical trading. I'm sorry, it's not in R, but technical trading rules. So developed by <clears throat> Ulrich. Uh, Ulrich uh, has a lot of packages that he has developed. Uh, for time series also, for guards modeling. So it's a collection of over 50 technical indicators, 50, for creating technical trading rules. Okay, so <clears throat> quite a lot of uh, <clears throat> uh, functionalities here. So example dito, yan yung Bollinger Bands, yung Commodity Channel Index, Etc. We're going to have some examples of this. Okay, sa, <clears throat> sa first topic natin dito sa, sa paggamit natin ng quant mode. So when we load quant mode, actually, quant mode comes also with TTR. So when you load quant mode, it automatically also loads the technical trading rules. <clears throat> okay, and then lastly, yung <clears throat> quant mode natin, which is actually a Bible as far as some as quantitative financial modeling framework in particular about investment is concerned. Okay, so it's in documentation, yeah. And this was developed by Jeffrey Ryan 
and together with the uh, Ulrich. <clears throat> okay, so this help this has several functionalities. This is a one mode. Okay, here. All right. Yeah, no? And we have already uh, we have already <clears throat> done some of them, used some of them like you know, get symbols, no? Yung una una natutunan natin dito get symbols. Okay. Uh, and then there are other get symbols that Wanda, get symbols that Fred. Uh, there used to be get symbols that Google, but eh, has now been deprecated in Angle Nan. Kasi hindi <clears throat> na inaalaw ni Google na maka, ano, maka download from their database. Okay. All right. So uh, let's let's once again have a, a very, very quick review of how we are able to control out i okay, you can get immediately get symbols this is the very basic command right? get symbols let's say uh, say google so if you know the the ticker symbol then very easy to just download the price the prices of a particular asset <clears throat> using this get that symbols okay so if i run this automatically it will now <clears throat> download this object Google so what type of object is Google it's an XTS object so it's for us class finance uh, finance students finance practitioners it's important to understand what what an XTS object is it's an extensible time series so if we look at the object itself you notice that this is quite distinct from the usual data frame because in a usual data frame the row numbers are indexed um, the uh, or the, uh, numbers one up to however no, many the observations are. For an XTS object or a zoo object, you notice that the uh, index is the date. Yung date yung ano yung yung uh, yung index natin. Now, of course, you can. Uh, that's a basic. No, you can of course modify the functionality. But let's just take a look at get that symbols. If you look at this one, get that symbols. You notice that may iba pang ano yan. No? May ano siya, may uh, iba't ibang uh, functionalities. So you can get symbols, um, environment, may reload pa, may verbose, may source. Okay, you can also assign the date. Okay. <clears throat> okay, may mga dot, dot, dot dito, no? <clears throat> which means additional parameters. Ito, tinanong din natin itong auto.assign. Okay, ano yung default nito? Auto.assign is equal to true. No? Defaults to true. Which means when we uh, when we do the uh, get symbols, then the ticker name, ang automatic nyan auto.assign is equal to true, which means uh, R will create this object Okay, and usually the name given to the object is the ticker symbol. Okay, we may we may wish, of course, to create you know, I'll create this object small g group, and then it gets symbols kusha. Yeah. Okay, and then Google, and then I have to write auto that assign. It's equal to false. Okay, if we do that, then R will recognize this. It means that we would like to create this object, small g o o g. So let's run this. Okay, so we have now this object. It's an XTS object. Very young guys, I'll just address the door. Okay, so <clears throat> so we were able to generate this object. <clears throat> it's the same as the uh, uh, this object, the capital G O O G. However, if we if we want to uh, to use 
a particular name of the object ourselves, then you do that auto that assign. Okay. Now there are other parameters that we can include there. So also, it's also possible to uh, to let's say uh, download <clears throat> several objects at the same time. So for example, let's uh, um, let's create this object. Uh, um, port, no? Okay, or stocks, stocks, and stocks. And then it's a vector of, let's say, Microsoft, no pa, uh, Intel, ito yung mga tech stocks natin, uh, Google, tapos Yahoo. Okay. Yahoo. Ito bang mga ano, tech stocks? Okay. Sama so, natin Netflix, NFLX, no? And FLX, I think Netflix. Okay, ano pa? Of course, Apple. All right, Intel, Apple. Okay, yan na muna, no? So we're creating this vector of stocks. Okay. Right, vector of stocks. Now we have this. You can see that it's under the values. And then let's use that vector to get symbols <clears throat> okay so let's see get symbols okay get get i don't have to type get symbols all right <clears throat> and then yung stocks diba? And then we can we can identify, for example, some some source nyan. So Yahoo, no? And then, uh, sige, yan na muna, no? Let's uh, let's look at this piece by piece. All right. So what will happen? Uh, I'm not identifying a particular ticker symbol, but I'm I'm using a particular vector stocks, and stocks consist of this uh, this vector of characters. So if you run this. All right. So yung error natin. Um, tama ba yung spelling ko? Ba ko yan? Okay, sorry. Bali, ah, wait. Ay, mali yung ano ko. Ay, wala. Yan, sorry, ah. Uh, Yahoo is Alibaba ng ba? So, palitan na natin si Yahoo ng Baba. Okay. Okay. So, now we have andito yung objects natin, no? Uh, Microsoft, Netflix, Intel, Google, and um, kasama si Alibaba. No? All right, so you can also uh, <clears throat> mod modify this. Marano pa mga pwede dito, no? Uh, you can also identify yung date kung kailan natin gustong kunin. Okay, control out i So let me just, uh, let's uh, create this object start. Start, no letter, start, date. And let's say uh, start date natin anong anong gagawin natin start date uh, 20 ano ba 20 20 20 <clears throat> 01 01 yung start ng COVID and then end date Say 20, 23, 12, 31. So this is uh, 2020, 20, 21, 22, four years, no? And then, so when we create those, uh, create 
create those two. Okay, so dito may, may vector type dito, no? So, uh, this is a character vector. Check natin. Check natin. Class. Class of start date. <coughs> character. <coughs> okay, so will this work if we use this? Control Alt I. Here natin sa get symbols. Uh, ano, uh, let's say um, let's see Tesla P S L A. Let's give this a name. Oops, mali. But magaganon. And T S L A small letters lang, alt minus. And then let's say source is equal to Yahoo. And then uh, from from is equal to um, from is equal to so if you from natin ang start date no? start date <clears throat> 2 is equal to and date Okay, I can close. <clears throat> and then, no pa. And date, and then, uh, <clears throat> auto that assign natin is equal to false. Okay. Sige, yun na muna. No? And then sa documentation mismo ng, ano, ng, ng quant mode, we can find there the other uh, other functionalities that we can we can use no? for in in uh, using get symbols. Alright, run natin to. Okay, so we now have Tesla here, TSLA. So if we check, uh, this is data starting with January 2, 2020, hanggang uh, December, ay, bakit? 2023, 2.13. Ano bang ginawa akong date? 2023, ay, sorry. Wala pa palang, no, mali ako. Uh, 2023 palang, February palang. So, I meant 2020, 2022. So, let me run this. So, pinalitan na yung 20, yung end date. And then, if I run this, so we will now have Tesla from January 2, 2020 hanggang, yan, December 30, uh, 2022. Okay. Pause for a while, class. I might be going too fast. Sorry. So, let me get your or feedback please if we're okay so far okay chat please kung okay tayo so far Okay, how about the others? I only got four responses. Okay, sabi class kung <clears throat> kasi baka I might be going too fast. No? 
So please inform me so that I, I uh, pace myself. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Okay, now if we take a look at uh, the... Uh, In file that I shared with you last time. Okay. Let me share this with you. <clears throat> I don't think we run this enough last time. Let me share it in the chat box and then let's uh, work on this. Let's take a look at other functionalities that we unmodify na lang natin. Okay, kindly copy that class and then let's take a look at what that does. Let me go back to our Let's see the other functionalities. Okay, so this one, uh, first we have to load get symbols. No? See, see, I know, see Goldman Sachs. This is the Goldman Sachs data. Okay, maybe let's see uh, um, is equal to true. So let's load Goldman Sachs, and we know that uh, it will load from 2007. January 1, the tra first trading day of January 1, and then it will uh, also end up to the la latest. Okay, if, I, if I run GS, so we now have this GS object here. <clears throat> so January 3, which is the first trading day of 2007 until February 13, which was yesterday. Okay, the most recent trading day. All right, you can find here some uh, basic uh, functionalities for quant mode. Is that OHLC answers the question, is the data that we generated from quant mode through the get symbols function, is it open, high, low, close data? And we know that this is true. It's true. Uh, let's just, again, verify we know this. So the data that we derive from quant mode, has open, high, low, close. And then you have the uh, volume is the number of shares traded that particular day. And then the adjusted close. So this accounts for any stock split. Okay. Itong adjusted na to, no? All right. So, so some, sometimes, ang ginagamit ng closing price, sometimes naman yung adjusted price. There are pros and cons. There are pros and cons to it. Okay. So let's go to uh, let's take a look at the uh, the other functionalities here. How about has that volume? Okay, so has that vo means does this data have volume? And we expect this to be true. Okay, kasi may volume talaga siya. Tapos here, op, cl, ad, this will generate the subsets of your data. Kasi ito yung gs natin, di ba? If you want, for example, to generate just the opening price, you can use this uh, OP. So here I'm here we're creating an object called Open Goldman Sachs Open GS, and then let's try to let's try to see what this what this generates. Okay, tina nyo no? Open GS. If I highlight that, it only contains one one column. Yung open yung open lang. Okay, so. Uh, quant mode is really very flexible if you want to create just a <clears throat> a data frame <clears throat> of uh, prices of uh, specific prices. Let's take a look at the class <clears throat> class of uh, uh, what's this open GS because okay, we subsetted diba uh, sinabset natin si GS kinuha lang natin yung opening price what will now be the class of OpenGS? It's still an it's still an XTS object or, or a zoo object. No? Okay, as we said, yung lumang time series data uh, is pinaka powerful na class na yung zoo. 
Okay, ngayon, uh, para in advance lalo si Zoo, in amend si Zoo, it's now XTS object. And uh, XTS object are more flexible than Zoo object. Lahat ng pwede natin gawin kay Zoo, uh, almost all, magagawa natin kay XTS, but not necessarily visa versa. Okay. So, yun yung, ano, ano, nag-create tayo ng object na OpenGS. Of course, we can also create this adjusted gold, uh, uh, Goldman Sachs by using AD. Ito adjusted. ADGS. Okay. So, if we take a look at this adjusted, we will now have the adjusted price. And this is also an XTS object. Kasi pag the subset of an XTS object will still be an XTS object. Okay, then we have <clears throat> series high will tell us ano yung pinaka highest highest price na, na generate. No? Alright, so that was on November <clears throat> uh, November 2, 2021. This is the highest price. I'm not sure if the default is is uh, based on close or adjusted. I will have to <clears throat> let's check na na. Kung saan ba yung series size? Is, is it based on the adjusted close? Okay, open, high, low, close, and adjusted. Is it based on the adjusted close or the uh, closing price? Let's check. Question mark, and then series. Let's just put here quant mode. Series here. Series high. <clears throat> Extract and transform. Okay, so dito. Series high. Click not into. It's just double check. Say I always forget kung what's the basis of Series H1. Okay, so here uh, it's from the extract and transform. Absentia. Okay, uh, while we're here, we're going to discuss this. Ano ibig sabihin tong functionality na functionality na to? Series high. Sana siya. Is it based on the will return the low and high respectively of a given series. To return, open, close. Okay, hindi niya sinabi, no? I, I have a suspicion that it's based on the closing price. But um, perhaps we should check more to be to be sure. Okay, so ito, class, while we're here, no? Dito sa tutorial na to. So you, ha you can have the opening price prices the uh, highest, the lowest, the closing, the volume, the adjusted price. Ito yung rinan natin, yung series high. And ito naman yung series low. Okay, so this was on uh, financial crisis, to, no? global financial crisis. Ito yung lowest that Goldman Sachs e uh, ever uh, experienced. No? 47.41, adjusted niya. 42.85 okay and then uh, mamaya we'll take a look at this because we can plot no? yung chart series that function will uh, will give us the plot of uh, of Goldman Sachs here but we'll, we'll look at that in greater detail later okay yung charting okay then let's go back here class <clears throat> kasi dito may mga iba pa no <clears throat> Uh, how about this? Series. So let's copy this. Control C. Uh, let's put it here. Ito na lang sa ilalim. Control V. So our X is GS. <clears throat> so what does this give us? Series increase. Threshold 0. And the difference is 1L. So that's but integer on 1. So if you run this, it will give us uh, whether nag like, increase or nag like, decrease yung price ng ano on a per day basis in one l 
So let's run this. Okay, it gives us a uh, right. And tina nyo to. No? So the it will give us a day by day uh, comparison or or output kung nagtaas yung price or hindi. Okay, take a look at this. <clears throat> so it starts with uh, December, uh, January 3, 2007. And NA siya kasi yung data natin ng GS starts with December, uh, January 3, 2007. But when we go to the next one, December 4, what happened though to the opening price? So it's false, which means that nag increase ba yung, yung price in GS? Sabi dito false. So let's take a look at the price of GS. So from 200, okay, it became 200, 200.6, it became 200.22. So we were, we wanted to know if there was an increase. So sabi niya false dito. So tama ba siya? Yes? False siya. Ibig sabihin, uh, yung question na nag-increase ba yung series natin? Uh, looking at the opening price between January 4 and January 3, the answer is false. And that's correct. You know? Tama ba class? Kasi from, from 200.6 naging 200.22. So there, that, that means there was a decrease. So dapat a false nga yun. Kasi ang tinatanong natin series, uh, series increase. Had we, had we run series, uh, ito naman yung isa, series Where's that? Ito, series decrease. Okay? So, tignan natin ito, ah. Control C. Let's put it here. And then, let's change it by B. GS. We know that the first one will be true. Ito, true to. Huh? Check natin. Yan, true plus, di ba? True. Kasi, nag-decrease nag, uh, ano, nag yung price. So, that that's what uh, this... Uh, function answers no series increase or series decrease so depende dun sa sa object natin in gs so ang object natin kasi niyan from 2007 january hanggang december no so sasagutin niya lahat yun. okay of course uh, may 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 minimum number of rows na pwedeng ipasok dito <clears throat> okay uh, any questions so far class Any questions? Pa chat naman please kung if I'm going too fast or too slow or the pace is okay. Waiting for your feedback, class. No one have been share screen ko? Am I sharing screen class? Huh? Oh boy. Was I not sharing screen a while ago, class? Hello? Oh. So, since kanina pa? Ah, no, guys, sorry. Uh, sorry, hindi ko nabasa yung comment nyo. Eh, ilang minutes na. As a Goldman lang, good. Okay, buti naman. Okay, sige, i-review ko ng konting Goldman. Ha? Okay, so, sorry about that. So, Goldman Sachs, no? A quick review lang. So, si Goldman Sachs, ito, nag-get nag symbols tayo, di ba? But you got the chat, di ba? You got the chat. So, we just looked at these questions. Is it OHLC? Okay, kasi kung yung data natin, uh, let, especially if it's coming from, ano, no, from the get symbols, uh, default yan, OHLC talaga yan. Tapos may hash volume ba? Sabi natin, true yan. And then this is creating now an object where it only includes the opening price. Ito, yung adjusted prices lang. The series high and the series low answers the question, uh, uh, at what point did... Uh, was the price uh, at, at its highest point given this range? 
yung range natin na from 2007, January 1, January 3, hanggang yung uh, prices yesterday. And also yung lowest price. Okay, and then I showed this to you also yung chart series. No? If I run this, it will give us a plot of golden socks. Diba? Okay, we will uh, we will uh, explore this more in chart, chart series and kasi marami tayong makukuha dyan. Alright, then <clears throat> itong question na to, series increase, it will generate a an output where it's a day by day uh, uh, answering the question, it's a day by day output answering the question, did it, did the price increase by by uh, by did the price increase? Okay. Right, my threshold tied dito. Tapos my uh, difference dito. Uh, what if we say dito 5L? What will happen? Tignan natin kung 5L. Ha? Okay, what do you notice now? Okay, ano na to? Hmm? Every 5 days na to. Hmm? So you're now comparing yung uh, price now and the price 5 days after. Okay, so dito, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then on the 6, kasi 5L yung difference natin eh. So let's check, kunyari, dito sa ano, sa, sa closing price, no? True daw. <clears throat> Ibig sabihin, if you compare January 3 and January 10, 2007, was there an increase? Kasi ito, ano to? Uh, increase to, no? Increase yung... Only way to find out. Yeah. Series increase. Okay, GS uh, closing 200.72 January 3. Closing January 10, 208.1. Okay, so it did increase. That's why our result here was close through. Siya. Okay, so I, uh, these are simple, simple uh, uh, codes class series increase, series decrease, series high, series low. Okay, and then this one. Okay, ito importante din to class. No? Control C. Let's copy this. Let's copy this. I'm from, I'm looking at the help function eh, ng ohlc.transformations. Okay. I'm going to put it in a new code chunk. Right. And then control D. And then I'm going to highlight everything here. And then control F. So that I'll replace X here by replace it by GS. Okay, para hindi ko na iisa-isa yung i-replace. No? So, yan. Una naka-highlight si X na to. Replace, 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 replace. Okay, no more occurrences on GS. Alright, so highlight ko lang yung cells na to, class, para mas mabilis. Okay, so what's this? Open, close, GS. So, let's try to see what this is. Okay, it's also a, but let's give this a name, no? Para, ano, open, para mas makita natin, open, close, and then underscore GS. I'll, I'll just give that, give it that name. Opening, close, <clears throat> GS. Okay, if I run this, so we now have this object, opening, close. Okay, what do you have here? What's this number? <clears throat> Okay, what this does is, if we take a look at GS, January 3, okay, opening, opening is 200.6, closing is 200.72, it will get the, kukunin niya yung, okay, closing, control C, control D, to get the, uh, the, uh, the, the percentage increase or decrease. So yung closing divided by the opening. Control C, Control D, and then minus one. <clears throat> okay? So we're just getting the percentage change. Open, close. You know? So close muna divided by the opening and then minus one to get the percentage change. 0 0.00598. Let's see. Okay. 0 0.00598, right? <clears throat> okay, let me pause and then uh, I'll let you experiment or 
do that to know what what's the closing open close huh? open close And when you're done, class, kindly please chat if you were able to follow. And we were able to uh, validate that indeed the open close um, XTS object is just the, uh, the growth rate, you know, the rate of change uh, closing compared to the opening. And to get that, you have the uh, closing divided by the opening minus one. Okay, waiting for your confirmation class if you're able to get it. Hello. Okay, thank you, Matthew. Let's wait for the others. I hope you're following along, class. about the others. In case you have questions, class, feel free to ask questions. Huh? <clears throat> Don't be ashamed. How about the others? The dalawa pa lang yung nagano. Yung tatlo. Uh, two, three out of 25 students. That's quite a, a uh, low participation rate. 10% uh, lang. Okay, let's wait for the others. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right. So, just one more. Tina natin tong closing, closing. No? That's very easy. Let's just take a look at the uh, first um, first three siguro. No? Copy na natin tong. Okay, let's see. Let's, just, let's just, just get the head of the first three values. Okay. Yan, closing, closing. Notice na yung first, wala. No? Kasi pag closing, closing, you're comparing between dates, days. Kanina, open, close, you're just comparing one day. So same day siya. Pag closing, closing naman, it's day one, day two versus day one. Okay, so uh, sabi dito negative 0.009. That's valid day. <clears throat> uh, close ko na to. <clears throat> Okay, so si GS, <clears throat> okay, so yung closing niya on January 4 is 198. The closing on January 3 is 272. So uh, we have a feeling na, uh, at least for the sign, tama siya, no? kasi bumaba. 
200.72 naging 198.85. E yung ano dito yung rate is 0.009. So mukhang, mukhang tama at least yung sign. No? But let's validate. Tingnan natin. So that's day 2. Control C. So yung most current one. And then, we divide natin sa yung earlier, earlier, earlier one. Control C, Control V. And then, we go, we subtract one. Okay? Control Enter. 0 0.009316. Tama, no? So, meron lang <clears throat> konting difference. Okay? Kasi, <clears throat> this might not be the, ano, this might be truncated. No? This might not be the actual, the whole figure. Kaya medyo may konting difference. Sabi. 4, 6, 6, 4, 6, 1, 6, 4, 6, 4. Medyo may konting difference. But, uh, since ano naman to? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 decimal places. Uh, so, not bad. No? Okay, so back to what we were discussing. Ganun din tong high close, no? <clears throat> Uh, I think we, di ba hinanap na natin si series high? Oops, hindi, sorry. Highest and close. No? Again, let's, let's run yung head ng high, cha close, natin ko dyan. Control X, Control V, EGS. Alright, <clears throat> so what will this give us? Let's get the uh, first uh, three. Lang din, eh? First three. What will this give us? It will. It will. Uh, it will get the ratio of the highest and the closing. So enter. <clears throat> so negative. Sha. Ibig sabihin mas mataas yung closing. Mas mataas yung highest case sa closing. So pag sinabing high, high and then close, you you start with the Ang numerator natin yung closing. Let's see. So first day, ang closing natin ito. Ito so na lang, 200.72. And then we compare that with the highest. <clears throat> ito, 203.203. 0.32. Okay, minus 1. So we expect a negative answer kasi uh, the, close, the closing is lower than the highest. Pag sinabing high close, the numerator will be the closing. The, the denominator will be the highest. Okay. So negative 1, 2, 7, 8. Okay, so correct. All right, so I hope you're getting the, the idea. Ganon din tong low close. No? Ganon din low high Open high, open low, open open. Same same concepts. No? So, uh, any questions about this? We will not run those anymore because I think one one example, two examples are enough for that. Unless you you have a question. Any questions? <clears throat> okay. So how about this? Itong HLC or HLC. This will now <clears throat> give, give us the control C. Give us a subset again. Control D. Select. And again. Okay. Um, control F. Tapos X. Wait, ako lang yung GX. GS, GS. Right. So, this one will create. Uh, will print out highest, lowest, and closing prices lang. So, pwede na tayo mag-create ng object if you want. HLC, GS, out minus. So, here I'm creating this object, high, low, close, GS, okay, which is the function generated by function HLC, GS. Run natin. So, we have this HLC, GS, and it will only contain the highest, the lowest, and the closing. Okay. 
Okay, any questions, class? Same, same thing with the uh, OHLC. OHLC. Ito natanggal lang yung adjusted. Okay, if I put here A, OHLC A, what, what will this give us? OHLC A. Oops, yeah. And underscore ko na lang. Underscore GS. Open, high, low, close. Adjusted. Dito, linagay pa niya yung volume. Volume. OHLCVA. So, what will this be? Okay. Wala daw yung... Merong OHLCV, pero walang A. Okay. Let me check. O H L C V meron tanggalin ko tong A B ko O H L C V G S C Okay na grant siya oh, bakit hindi pinasok yung ano ah uh, hindi niya pinasok yung adjusted O H L let me check that O H L C C V Okay, just walang A, no? Walang ganung function. Kasi it's, it's just the get symbols na rin. No? So, hindi na nila sinama. Okay. Okay, pero actually, hindi na makailangan na itong function na ito, eh, o HLCV. Kasi you can just use the GS and then just subset lang. Huwag na natin isang may adjusted. Diba? So, I think na hindi naman kailangan yung, yung function nito. Okay, any questions, class? Any questions? Okay, naman. Okay, how about the others? Let me check yung iba pang ano-ano. Kasi... May mga functions pa tayo na hindi pa natin na-discuss. Okay, no questions so far. Good. Alright. Okay. Alright. Ito class. Uh, what do you think will this give us? Without running. Subset lang to, di ba? Subset lang. Okay, sige, bigay ko na rin to. No? Control C, let me chat this. In case you're interested to know this also. But these are self-explanatory na mga functionalities. No? Okay, can, kindly, uh, let's quickly take a look at those. Control Alt I. Okay, so for this one, it will just subset no? 2007. Okay. We can create an object out of this. GS uh, underscore 2007. Okay, GS 2007, we, ge we generate an object which subsets. No? GS year 2007. Let's run this. Okay, and then when we check in 2007 uh, GS here, GS 2007. So it will generate okay, only 251 entries. Okay, which is approximately tama kasi ang isang year trading sa isang year approximately 252 days. So this is uh, January, start ng January, and then let's see the end, yeah, December 31. Okay, so we were able to generate an object uh, where we subsetted the whole year of 2007, ganun din dito sa 2008. This one will only uh, give us January of 2008. Okay, ito naman, from June 2007 hanggang 2008 ng January 12. 
okay about this pag ganito everything to no? so it's just it's just like gs and this one 2008 from 2008 to from 2008 and then two columns okay everything now you can also get non contiguous so hindi magkakasunod so for example ito okay i'm i'm creating this uh palitan natin ng pangalan no? non c non contiguous okay and then underscore gs or my gs yeah. and then it's just uh, wait there you are para may kulang ko sa function na yun. Okay. I'm <clears throat> sorry. Dapat sinama ko yung ano. No? Alright. So what happened here was, so we created this object. Ito, no? Uh, this is 2020 January, 2020 February, and 2020 December. So, uh, they're not continuous. No? January, uh, February, and then December. So I'm creating this object. Okay, and it's done. Okay, um, let's just put it here date. Hmm? Date one. And then, so date one, ito dinify natin na ito. And then, we now get the uh, subset. Okay. What happens here, class? Which is, diba? Nag-create tayo dito ng, ang binigay ko sa inyo, no? Non-contiguous. Ipinalitan ko na lang ng pangalan na date. Date one. Okay. It's a vector. Okay, muna natin to. So you can see here, it's a vector, no? Date 1. And then, kunin natin yung subset nito. Uh, lagyan natin ang isang object ng non-contiguous na GS. Okay, para madali natin makita. Non-contiguous GS. Control enter. And then let me just open this. Alright, so what do we have here? So it's uh, January, and then February, and then December. No? So you, those three months. So we were able to create uh, that object, which is a subset of your Goldman Sachs. Okay, let me pause again, class. Uh, I, I, I might be going really too fast. And then ask for any feedback, any questions. So this is very important for us. Okay, good. Thank you. Iba, walang comment? Sige, nag-share ako ng... Uh, okay. All right. So I, I think we uh, we already did this before, but I just want to be sure. What does periodicity give us? No? Periodicity, okay, it will tell us kung ano yung frequency ng, ano natin, ng data. GS is, you know, it's daily, di ba? Daily. Kaya sasasabihin niya na daily periodicity, and then it gives us the range from December, from January 3, 2007 to February 13, 2023. Okay. Now, what will happen if we unclass? If we unclass periodicity, uh, if we unclass uh, CGS. So, ano ibi ano ano siya sa atin yun? Okay. Yung unclass function will tell us. So, unang-una pa, ito yung range. Ilang days dun sa GS? 86,400 days. <clears throat> Let's check nga. Let's check. Ano yung last day ni ano? Ni GS? 
Pwede ba yun? Pwede ba natin kunin yung uh, 2023? Okay. So, end niya. Let's see. End is 2023. And then, kailangan 2023. And then, 02 and then 13. So, that's the end. And then, start. I'm sorry. Pinaid muna natin yun. Tapos start is start is 27 and then 2007 0103 0103 So ito yung start object natin. Okay, so we have uh, M at saka start. What if I subtract and minus start? Pepe, di ba yan, class? What do you get? Sige try nyo, class. What are you getting with this? Plus, I got the beginning date of itong GS natin. Tapos kinuha ko yung ending date. Tapos what happens when you get the difference? Alright. Ano nangyari? Plus. Kasi, ano to? What's this class? Plus ng N. So, it's a character, di ba? Character siya. So, hindi naman tayo pwede mag-minus ng character. So, if I want to get the number of days between that, anong gagawin natin? Plus. Dito papasok yung Yung, I think we studied this before, yung Luby date, di ba? So library Luby date. And then we can, we can now change, si ano, si end. Gawin natin uh, year, month, day, ni end. Okay? So what am I doing here? I'm creating, I'm replacing end with YMD year, month, date. Okay. All right. So, ano na ngayon ng class ni ni end? So, date na siya, di ba? Tapos yung start natin, start. Palitan natin yung ano din, yung function na ymd year month date from the luby date function. This will now convert yung start natin into a into a uh, date, no? Okay. So, ngayon, date na sila pareho. Now, when I subtract end minus date, what happens? Okay, error pa rin. Bakit? Unclass as that date. Ano na ba nangyari? UTC na to, no? Okay, dapat this should, this should work already. End minus date. Non-numeric argument to binary operator. Alright, so, sige, class E, wait, huh? Yeah, end minus date. What did you get, Julian? And Matthew? Did you get the difference between these two? Five, eight, eight, five days. Uh, did you convert the end at saka yung, yung start sa ano, sa... <coughs> Start at saka end sa, ano, sa dates. Julian? Yes. Pero sa akin, hindi nag ano eh. No? I wonder why. And, tama naman. End now is a UTC na to. Date na to. And then start is also UTC. 
So why am I get, getting a, an error? Okay, sige, i-ano ko na lang, no? Uh, Abi ito. Ay! Ano ba nakalagay sa akin? End date ba? Wait. Sorry, ano yung... Ano yung mistake ko? And may end na ako dito UTC na. Tapos may start na ako UTC din. So this should work. Sir? Yes? Yung code po, dapat end minus start. End minus ay. date po na mo rin. <laughs> pala. Ay, ay, ay. Yung nga pala. Sorry, sorry. Ay, it's a wrong mistake talaga pala. End minus date na ba yan? End minus, dapat end minus start. You're correct. Thank you. End minus start. End minus date. Mali. I'm getting 5885 days. No? So that's a difference. Pero, meron tayo kanina dito na result. So what's frequency 86400? What's this? Okay. So I want you to discover ano tong frequency na to, itong 86400. No? What does that refer to? Kasi we try to get the difference. The difference between the dates, that's the range, is 5885 dates. Okay. I hope, class, I hope, oh, time na pala, no? So, sorry, I, one last minute. I hope clear sa inyo yung importance ng lubricate, no? That's one package, class, that we have to master as train students. Kasi we deal with, uh, lalo na, yung mga next, ano natin, next topics, time series, no? So, talagang gagamitin natin yung lubricate. So, please, uh, Review lubricate, tignan yung mga functionalities. Tulad yan, yung converting a character into a date. Madali yan with lubricate. Okay, so, alright, just this last one, sorry uh, for the a bit of extension. Just this last one. Ito, no? Ito, these are very important. Uh, gawin natin tong GS unders uh, underscore ito na yan. GS Shift underscore weekly. Okay, what will happen to this one? GS weekly to that weekly GS. Let's see. Uh, let's see what. Asa na si GS to weekly. Eh? All right. Tignan natin yung object na to. Okay, what do you notice about the object? Okay, so ano na siya, no? Di ba? Uh, 207. Okay. So, tinan natin, no? Weekday. And then, weekday ng, weekday ng, uh, uh, YMD. YMD ng 2007 ng 0105. Alright, tapos. Oops, wala pa. Control Z. And then. Ito na muna. So this is 6. Anong araw to? Uh, yung complete date niyan. Label is equal to true. Again, nothing label is equal to true. Label is equal to P. Okay, sorry. Eh? Okay, let me end here. Control enter. Alright, so Friday, no? So, ang kinu kinuha niya mga prices pag nag weekly tayo. Friday. Okay, so these are Friday. Friday prices. Okay? Which one, Margot? Quotation sa inyo. 1046. Na dito, ang ginawa ko lang, kasi nung nag-two-weekly tayo, I wanted to know, anong araw to? So I used the weekday function. Weekday, 
and then kinonvert ko na kagad to sa ano sa day sa date no and then label is equal to true ibibigay niya kung anong araw yon no so friday so here we can see that yung nag, nag two, two weekly tayo these are uh, these are all friday ano to friday dates yung ginagamit dito weekly dates all right so i pwede ring going to monthly yan okay and then uh, you can of course use this all right so may i request you just to run everything here ito on your own para next meeting we will proceed from here there are things uh, a lot of uh, a lot more things that we need to uh, and pay please particular attention to pakitingnan na yung TTR no yung yung uh, indicators yung Bollinger bands uh, moving average okay one last thing ka, sorry kasi one last last na to but if you need to go just go no uh, we can we can download no okay just just one one quick quick lang yung apple natin kunyari o yung gs na lang no yung gs pwede kong i-download yan as a csv file okay so one way to do it is ito right that right that zoo no the right function whether it's that zoo or that csv will write gs no yung gs gawin natin tapos tawagin natin yung file name will be gs Let's call it gs.csv. Okay, gs.csv. Uh, tapos, uh, wait. Uh, uh, okay, lagay ko lang ito ah. Quote is equal to false. And then separator natin. Sep, separator is, uh, kasi csv. Alright. So if I, if I, if we write this, write that zoom, no? yung golden socks natin and then ito yung file na ano na isusulat niya okay code is equal to mali ito dapat capital F okay may separator kasi csv siya and then run natin okay notice class what happens of the files here meron na tayong csv dito no diba ayan nagkaroon tayo ng csv kasi sinulat natin we con we are we generated a csv file so if i open uh if I open my R project in directory ko, tinan nyo, may, may GS na ako dito. If I click this, okay, ito, no? Ito yung GS. Okay, may index pa siya. Yan, no? Index, GS, open, high, low, close, volume, adjusted. So, I was able to generate a CSV file na dinownload natin from quant mode, no? Okay, so with that, let me, okay, let me, Stop recording now.